Hey guys, I wanted to share with you another item on Etsy that is a good seller. And I always like to research the market potential before I make a video on it. And if you are new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you do not miss out on any future videos about making money online. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to my email list, I will leave a link to that in the description below. I have been calling it my girl boss email. However, I started to look at the analytics and I'm getting a lot of men who are also following my channel. So I wanted to make sure that it is not strictly just girl boss email. I think I need to rename it something different just um, make money online with me type email. But anyway, you will get so much more out of that email. It takes just a second to sign up and I'm probably going to send emails two or three times per month. And you will also be the first to get notified when I launch my online course, Etsy for Bosses. Okay, so let's jump into the video. Another item that is selling very well on Etsy are flashcards. So if I just type in flashcards, we come up with all these different items right here. So they've got, you know, letters, there are words, and th there's just so many ideas here. I've even seen, yes, the moon phases, flashcards. So this is like flashcards that are for anywhere from a toddler all the way up to high school, you know, things that you can make. Um, you know, if you have someone in high school studying the periodic table, I mean, you could make flashcards on that. So these are good sellers. And like this set right here, she is selling this set of flashcards for $5. So remember with instant downloads is what is so awesome about it is that you can sell the same thing over and over and over again. And also in your listing, you can also say that you can laminate these, you know, um, however they want to do it. And you can also fit a bunch of these all on one page and also recommend that they print these out on cardstock because that's what they're meant to be printed on. So, um, I just wanted to share this with you and also I'm going to show you how to easily design one. So I'm going to jump over here to ipicky.com, which you all know is my favorite. And I really don't know why I am paying a monthly fee for PicMonkey. I'm going to keep it because sometimes PicMonkey might have something that I need. So we're going to click on create a design. Now, the standard size for a, I think of is four and a quarter by five and a half and are ready to print on eight and a half by 11 paper or cardstock. And she puts in here, I recommend using cardstock to print the cards on. Once printed, simply cut out along the white lines and these can be laminated as well. So, is what we want to do is we want to take these dimensions here four and a quarter 4.25 by 5.5 so is what we need to do is we are going to use ninja units and i love this site so much because it converts inches to pixels and you can also click here if you need to convert pixels to inches. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and select my DPI right here of 300. And 
and I'm going to put 4.25 and this tells me that it is 1275 is the result in pixels. So I'm going to copy this by hitting control C and then I'm going to hop over here to the designer and I am going to put, I'm just going to paste that right here. And then I'm going to go back over here to Ninja Units. And I will leave a link to this in the description below. Um, I have done that on other videos, but this is such a great, you know, site. So then we're going to put 5.5 right here. And then we're going to take these pixels right here and control C. And then we're going to go over here and hit control V. So now we have our size in there and we are going to click create. So here is our template for our flashcard. Now you can either design this yourself by like adding clip art. You can pull this apple over here and let me make this a little bit smaller until we figure out what we're going to do with this. And then you can add your text, which is going to be A. And I highly recommend because this is flashcards, you want to make sure that this is completely legible. And don't forget on some of these, fonts you have to pull and stretch in order to get the same size or get the size that you would like. Okay so we're going to put A right here and then we can take and put like an apple And we can kind of add this right here. And then you can also change the color of this if you would like. Um, it's just completely up to you. Since it is for kids, I would make this something colorful. Maybe go something like that and then you have a flashcard. And then you can make this a little bit bigger. So you can do it either this way or you can do where um, if you purchase the clip art that I got that I absolutely love, we're going to first add some digital paper and I am going to use this. Okay, and then now I'm going to go to my folder and I'm going to upload some of the clip art from my album that I have labeled Kids. Okay, so then we're just going to drag this over here and we're going to make this bigger. And there we have now created a flashcard. Now this is in the lowercase letter E, but you could also pull this down here and then you could type add some text and you could put a bigger E and change it to something similar in this color.
Okay, and then we also want to change our font. And once again, you want this to be legible. And you could put this up here at the top. So then we have our lowercase and then we have our uppercase letter E. And then these are just cute little flashcards. So let me do one more. And let me upload. Let me try finding some paper. So I think I'm going to use this paper right here and I'm going to cover this. And if you think this is going to be too dark or too distracting for you know what your design is, you can always go over here and fade this. And I'm actually fading this to about 40 percent 41 percent so now we want to add our clip art and once again we need to add an uppercase as well these only came in lowercase So P for penguin, and then we're going to add a P. And then we're going to change our font. And then we're going to change our color. Once again, some of these fonts you have to pull and stretch. And then we're going to change our color. And I want it to be something on the purple spectrum to sort of somehow match. We probably are not going to be able to get that exactly. Or we can actually offset the color with something in the pinks. Like that. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss out on any future videos about making money online. Thank you so much for watching and I hope everyone has a wonderful day.